All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here at the review table. We're getting ready to jump all over doing a review on this guy right here. This is the uh, Recoil Less bolt carry group from the guys over there at Velocity Precision. They sent this out to the channel to do a review and take a look at it. And guys, as bolt carrier groups go, uh, we can sit here and we can put pin gauges, we can gauge them out, protrusion gauges and things like that. And I would suggest highly, if you have an old bolt carrier group like this WMD with about 10,000 rounds through it, yeah, I mean, you gotta look at that. The, the uh, gas rings are gone, we've got a bunch of wear right here. Probably would help to go ahead and make sure you test this thing to see if it's within spec because you're gonna see a lot of depreciation in performance as older they get. Will it perform? Yeah, it'll still rock and roll, but probably needs a little bit of a checkup. Uh, so that's why when I went down to the multi-gun nationals and uh, completely embarrassed myself, but <laughs> anyway, I, I talked to a couple people who uh, pretty much shoot for a living. And the general consensus was, is that a bolt carrier group is bolt carrier group. It's going to run, it's going to run. Uh, and I'm on board with that idea. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at just some of the configurations of this particular bolt carrier group. We're going to talk about some of the things that make it different. And we're going to take a look at how the differences are as they fit in uh, upper receiver sets. That's kind of interesting because one of the things I do is I have, this is an Anderson and this is a, a Rainier Arms. And it's going to be interesting to show you some of the differences. All right, so what are we talking about? Uh, velocity Precision. They make the Velocity Precision triggers. Very good drop-in trigger. Uh, I was very impressed with it. I run two of those in a couple of my rifles, and I've had nothing but great results. Never had any failures with them. Smooth, crisp, clean. The reset's beautiful. So when they asked me to go ahead and take a look at one of these things, I said, yeah, I'd love to. Now, one of the things I want to show you before we start off, let's just talk about this. This is a meal spec. This is a tool craft. So let's take a look at it. So this guy is going to fit right into this uh, Anderson upper. Now, there's a lot of room in there. As you can see, you can see the rails bouncing around. Okay. Now, one of the things I want to show you is this. This is a Rainier Arms. This is interesting. See how tight that is and how it does not move around. Now, a couple things that you have to consider, okay? I'm going to be able to get this thing out of here. Is you take this guy right here and put it into an Anderson. I'm just showing this to you so you maybe see an idea. Look how much it moves around. That thing is going to have some, either this upper receiver or that upper receiver is way out of spec, but considering that this WMD with about a million rounds through it also fits really snug in there. And I have a feeling that this upper receiver will really result in some very tight groups just because when that thing goes into battery, it's going to be seated. Now here's the interesting thing. When I take this guy right here, I throw it in there. Watch. Now, what makes that do that? I don't know. Maybe the dimensions between here and here, here and here, are a little tight. Now, I mic'd them, and they're within spec. So who knows? But I am going to go ahead and build a really nice AR out of this thing, and we're going to see how it performs. All right, so let's talk about this guy and the pricing. There's a couple different ways this thing's priced out. You've got... Uh, 299 that's going to be with the bolt. You're also going to have an adjustable gas block. Now, guys, let's talk about lightweight bolt carrier groups. What are they What are they for? Well, they reduce recoil, felt recoil. Uh, they mitigate the inertia back and forth. So when you're trying to hit the follow-up shots, you're going to be able to stay on target better than you would, say, a mil spec just because of the weight going back and forth. If you combine that with not only an adjustable gas block as well as a buffer system, uh, you're going to experience a lot faster follow-up shots. That's why competitive shooters use this kind of stuff. All right, so what are we looking at? We've got 299 with the adjustable gas block. Now, I like their adjustable gas block systems because you have the adjustable screw and then there's a locking screw that locks that thing down. When it's in place, it's in place. Then you've got the bolt carrier with the gas block. That's uh, 249 
And then this guy, as it sits right here, bolt carrier with the bolt is 249. That's pretty expensive for a bolt carrier group. Now what sets this guy apart? Well, you've got this ladder truss system right here. Now interestingly enough, one of the things that I was wondering is that with the truss system, because you don't have the serrations here for the Ford Assist, are, are you still going to be able to use the Ford Assist? Now, to be perfectly honest with you, not a lot of people don't necessarily continue using it, but yeah, look at that. You can still engage with the Ford Assist on these truss systems, which is really, really cool. I had a, took a picture of this a long time ago uh, and put it on Instagram of some guy, uh, I don't know who he was, but he mentioned without the serrations, he wouldn't buy it. I was like in agreement with him until I saw that. All right, so what are we talking about here? We've got the uh, nano diamond nickel coating. Now, that's a mix between a diamond light coating and a nickel boron not exactly sure but it's going to be interesting to see how long this thing lasts now i have well i've given this thing away it's actually gone to one of the uh, viewers we did a, a live chat the other night and i did a real quick draw and decided to go ahead and send this guy down the road and i'm looking forward to seeing how it performs in his rifle and he's going to give me some feedback on it so let's talk about this um as far as bolt carrier groups go pretty normal on the interior uh the uh gas key the cam key pin everything here looks normal uh you got magnesium phosphate bolt uh, it is mpi uh, i'm not sure if it's hpt one of the things that i would tell you is that always check your rings on your bcgs make sure the smooth side is out and facing towards the center uh, I had to switch this guy around here real quickly. Other than that, it's pretty normal. The uh, ejection pin right there, the ejector is working pretty good. Extractor is looking good. We've got a donut ring right here and the plunger uh, piece inside of it. I went ahead and pulled this out a minute ago. Extractor is nice and curved back the way it's supposed to be. But other than that, I mean, it's very simple, very easy. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button on my camera so you guys can see we're going to check out some of the close-ups in here so look at this Ooh, neat let's go back over here and check that hole out i love checking holes out the machining in here is very smooth i'm actually impressed with it with a phosphate cover bolt i actually know who makes manufactures these things uh, and a lot of people don't like to disclose that type of information. Let's take a look at it from the inside here. Machining is awesome. I absolutely like that. All the way around. Ooh. Yeah, firing pin hole. No, uh, as you notice right there, there's nothing in there that is uh, showing a uh, flaking or in the, in the materials that could get caught up on the... Uh, the firing pin. Now the firing pin uh, is a typical firing pin. I'm not really too concerned about that. Let me go ahead and bring the camera in. I'm going to show you something really cool as it relates to the staking of the uh, the gas key bolts. All right, so take a look at this guys right here. Uh, if you'll notice, there are two points, one here and one here. The typical mil spec staking is on either side one here one here if you can see them on that guy right there but this is in here in here now let's take a look at that i'm going to bring the camera up so you can see exactly what it looks like look at that that's pretty neat you notice making contact it looks like the the uh, metals have uh, been kind of mingled right there pretty neat let's take a look at it on the other side there that's cool as it gets will that staking hold yeah i'm gonna say it will let's check out the uh gas key internals yeah neat um uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the carrier let's see our gas holes here nicely done go ahead and bring it on in Come on, baby. Get in there. Yeah. There we go. There's another hole. 
and we'll go ahead and bring it up. You can see there's the gas key screw held in place. Let's bring it back. There's the other gas key. You can actually see the gasket uh, arrow shell or whatever the hell that stuff's called. I'm not really a, too worried about it. And there's our holes for the firing pin retaining pin. Very neat. And then that's my eyeball. That's it. Uh, what would I say about this? I, I always say go ahead and give it a try. Uh, if you're into lightweight bolt carrier groups, uh, in my personal opinion, I think uh, there's, uh, the price is a little high. But if for that, you're getting the nano diamond uh, coating on there. Yeah. But I like how they did the uh, gas key and staking. And I always applaud someone who's doing something different and trying to provide innovation in the field. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing runs. Uh, and one of our good friends rifles so you can see the interior right there. Hold on. Let's see if we get that going Nicely done. So with that being said guys, please let me know what your thoughts are down below. I know she's expensive uh, But it's a good-looking BCG and uh, For those of you guys that want to include and get involved in a high-end BCG um, Let me know. It's good boy 32. We always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Look at that shine. I love the way they cut these things out. It's very nice. The Recoil Less Bolt Carrier Group from Velocity Precision. Oh, yeah. Y'all be good.